Welcome back to YouTube, this is Xylocoon here, playing Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. When I last left off our little video, I had just gotten to the Bottle Grotto, so let's go ahead and get through this dungeon to this video, shall we? It really is a lot simpler than I make it out to be, but eh, it's only the second dungeon. Things don't really get complicated in this game, they just don't. Ooh, Acorn! Love you, Acorn. Fighting some stealthos, doing some stuff, being real awesome. And that little message, the whole heavy thing, you will get that every single time until you get the item in this dungeon, the power bracelet. I think you actually have to have it equipped for it to not do that. And we got the compass. Awesome. I just wish it didn't have to tell you about it every time because we get it. It's a compass that makes a little do to do that noise whenever there's a hidden key in the room. I guess their definition of hidden key is relatively loose. Oh well. Do a little clever jumping. Do a little jumping jumping. Activate a switch. Grab another key. Yay keys. You get a lot of keys in these dungeons. Like seriously. I don't think there's ever a point I have found that I didn't have like at least two keys at all times. Or at least two keys with me in the dungeon. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Basically you get a lot of keys. I see I just got another key. Gotta hit that switch. Otherwise those blocks will be up. Defeated some shy guys just now and I think they might be more hooded stealthos. But I call them shy guys. They look like shy guys to me. But here's... You see what I mean? I've got three keys and I haven't used any of them yet. I need my shield. I'm not sure if there's another way to defeat these guys other than with, you know, the boomerang, which apparently kills everything. But, eh. I'll actually take back my rocks feather now. Go in here, blow up a keys. Bad keys. Behave. Be a good keys. Thank you, Guardian Acorn. Jump. 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 I love doing that, I really do. And you can jump and swing. Take. Jump. And we've already hit the mini boss. How's that for cool? Back! Ah, where did I go? Oh, I think I lost my guardian acorn power. Hey, he shouldn't be that much trouble anyway. E, e. Well, I could be lying. There, stupid cyclops, almost killing me. Have I mentioned before that I am not that good at this game? At least I get through it. Oh well. Got a fairy. Go through these rooms. Now this room's kind of annoying because I always try to get this chest here and I end up getting pulled into the um, little black hole thingy. Alright, I fall down a hole. I fall down the hole. Linky go down the hole. See what I mean about the rupees? I've already gotten back up to 30. I need powder. Damn it, no. Powder. And then kill the booze. This game takes a lot of enemies from Mario just because they can. It's kind of cool. So we've got the power bracelet. Now the mechanic is a little bit different. You actually have to pull back on the control pad. And I always thought that was kind of cool because it was supposed to, like, you know, make you actually feel like you were picking something up. Another small key. See, look at this. I've got another two already. Let's see if I can make him come down here. There we go. Simple. Beat up more keys. 
I've been having a bit of an off day. Come down here. Now, I know I didn't really, I guess, explain. But you'll find an owl statue if you get the stone beak that tells you to destroy the Pole's voice, then the keys, and then the Stuffos. And you get the chest. But first, piece of power! And that's how you get the Nightmare Key. Now I'm not going to take that staircase over there because it just leads back to another room I'd previously gone through. And there's no point. come in here, you essentially do the same thing, get a little staircase. And hey, what do you know, we are actually almost through this entire dungeon already. Because right here in a second is the door to the nightmare. I know I only have like three hearts, I'm going to... Hopefully I'm not going to die. Damn it! Okay, you know what? I'm backtracking. Because I'm seriously low on hearts. Oh well, it's not like this dungeon isn't short anyway. E oh, damn it. I'm having an off day again. I was having a good day last time. Now I'm having an off day again. Bad bunny. See if I can find some hearts somewhere. Heart. Here, Goombas. Goombas are good for hearts. I always found it funny that you can just stand under them. I fail. But there, that that I really should be enough hearts. This boss is pretty simple. Oh, get another heart anyway. I'll show you when we get there. He's I missed. No, bad you. Anyway, the Bottle Grotto is really short, like I said, and it's not really so much annoying as it is tedious, but only because of the boss, because you can't actually skip the conversations he has with you, and he, like, taunts you, so I always feel really good after I kill him. Oh well. But here we go. I'm your bad guy this time. I can't help but think, are they self-aware? Come on, come out of this stupid bottle. But see, he only takes a little while because you actually have to sit and wait for him. So that's a pain. Oh well. He goes back in his little bottle, you smack it with your sword, and then you throw it against the wall. Don't be bad. Don't be bad, Mr. Clown Face. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hate him. I always feel so good when I kill him. Because he's just a turd. He's taunting you. Even the face he makes, it just screams, I'm taunting you. And his hands, it looked like. Oh, okay, whatever. As a kid, did you ever, like, take your hands up to your ears and just go nee -nee 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 at your sister or your sibling or whatever? Some kid you didn't like. Once again, I feel like it's a little dork. Anyway, that's essentially what it looks like he's doing. And I have smashed her bottle. So now, hopefully, you'll stop being a douche. I swack at you. It's my invented word. Swack. He really shouldn't be that hard. I can kind of judge it when he's about to come back in and dodge his fire. 
I usually don't get hit. There. That's another boss down and another heart container. Awesome. Six hearts. And now we've got the conch horn, I believe. Yes, conch horn. But see, this is why I, I thought it might have been like Earthbound, because the tones sound different than the Full Moon Cello, but the song is the same. It's actually kind of nice. I like the Ballad of the Windfish. The prairie. The prairie is waiting. And when you come back out, you got your chain chomp again. How cool is that? Ack, bad fishing. Anyway, now that we do have our chain chomp, we can actually take a little bit of a detour. I'm gonna um, explore around a little part. Because I think it's good to get at the mountains now. Not really the mountains, that's the way to the windfish, by the way. And there's also some heart pieces you can get. I come up, I end up coming up here and grabbing some rupees. I mean, why not? I can. Wait, I failed. I messed that up. And for some reason, if you do this later on, it does not shoot fireballs at you. And I don't know why. Yeah, I just always end up coming in here to get this. Rupees. 50 rupees. And you actually cannot get through these until you have the um, Pegasus boots. And you actually can't get to that chest either. I think there's a way to... Oh, whoops. Wrong. Wrong item. I'm trying to jump over it, but nope, I need the power bracelet. I was trying to demonstrate the how to get the other piece of heart I'll be getting at in a minute. Oh well. You can do a little bit of... Um, I don't know, I guess... Side questing is a good word. Damn it! Damn it! Stupid fireballs? This Legend of Zelda, watch me die. There, I cheated. You know, I think I can just come up this way. Why am I trying to hurt myself? Yes, I can. Okay. I'm kind of stupid sometimes, haven't you noticed? Sigh. Anyway. Hard. Let's try and not die. What I end up doing is I come over here and get the warp. Just because it'll make things easier later on. Since I'm over here anyway. See, there's the entrance to the fourth dungeon, I believe. Well, not the entrance, the key for it. The keyhole. And here's a little warp I was talking about. I know uh, the sound's cutting out again, but that's, again, because I'm trying to get at the guide. And I don't know what this is. I think it's the elder entrance to something I don't remember right this second. But anyway, where am I going? I don't know where I'm going. I know where I'm going. I'm going to see Crazy Tracy. That's where I'm going. And I'm also going to get some stuff. And some upgrades, more or less. We'll be going back through the Mysterious Forest to get some upgrades. I think these are Moblins, too. I'm not sure. Nah, I need to go up here. You know, what's really fun is that even if he eats somebody, you still get the, um, 
the whatever they drop. Let's see, can I go down? No, I don't want to go this way. I want to go back toward the witch's hut. That's where I want to go. Here we go. Once again, I'm trying to use the wrong damn item. And here is Crazy Tracy's, who will be absolutely invaluable. And I think she charges more if you have less hearts, because she um, heals you as well. But, oh well. You give her some money, she gives you a secret, quote unquote, and that potion I will be probably getting a lot. Because otherwise I'm just going to keep dying and having to do these parts over again. But she's nice. Okay. Now, we can actually go and backtrack a little bit more. So go get some more rupees from that one cave I was at. Now this cave up here, I can access it now but there's no point until I have the Pegasus Boots. And I'm sorry if you get bored watching me walk around gathering up stuff, but hey, it's part of the game. See, we come back in here, and now that I have the Power Bracelet, I can lift up this skull and get more rupees. You see what I mean about the rupees, though? I'm already back to 120, and that did not take me that long. It just didn't. So, next on the agenda is getting an upgrade, actually. Let's see if I can remember where it is. Uh, I think you come... I'll actually be going in that cave in a second to get the heart. There it is. You lift up this rock here. And this is basically a demon thing. But you take your magic powder and you give him a little bit of sprinky. And ta-da! You wake him up from his nap. Now, I'm not sure if... um you actually know, but you can say no. No, you have to say yes first, and then he'll kind of cycle through it. If you say no, he'll let you carry more bombs, and it's the bombs that I want right now. Oh, by the way, this doesn't actually work if you don't have bombs, but I did buy bombs. I bought bombs, right? Tell me I bought bombs. Okay, I bought bombs. But I find the bomb upgrade more useful right now because bombs. I mean, do I really have to say more bombs? Why did I have the wax feather? I still need this. We'll be going in here now to get a heart piece which we could not access earlier. See, all we gotta do is lift up these skulls and heart piece. There we go. And we can also grab a secret seashell. And I know I haven't really gotten many of those these past couple of videos, but I'm only like, what, three videos in? I don't know. I think two, actually. Two or three. Let's see, you lift up that rock, and here's a secret seashell. Ah. Uh. So now we can go back and return Bow Wow, and you actually can't get through the game unless you return him, which, again, is funny. So we talk to Madame Meow Meow, give her back her dog, and what will she do? She gives you a big fat smooch, isn't that adorable? Ah. Uh. So, Bow Wow is back in his place. We've done some pretty cool stuff. Got a heart piece. Got some more bombs. Um, 
I don't really want to do the photo album thing. I guess we can go get some more rupees. Let's go get some more rupees, just because. This is called the Dream House. You end up... you can go to sleep in here. All the lights will turn out, and you actually end up in this cute little mini dungeon room thing. Which... ow. I think you can get like 100 rupees in it, but I don't really want to. Plus, you can't actually do it all the way until you have the Pegasus boots. And here, I'll show you what I was talking about with that warp earlier. Now, I have a quick way back to the mountain. And back. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, I'm not sure what else to do. I guess I have to cut the video here in a minute. I'm not sure what's in this cave. What is in this cave? This is what is in this cave. There we go. Rupees. There, I got rupees anyway. Alright. Oh, you know what else I could do? I could do the color dungeon. Which will help out immensely. So let's head down that way. I don't actually remember how to do the color dungeon entrance. I'll get there. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll get there and then I'll have to cut the video. So I'll show you where it is. It's actually near the witch's hut. I know this is a lot of backtracking, but trust me, it's worth it. Wait, why am I... I'm telling you, I'm just stupid lately. So we jump over here, and we're heading to the witch's hut. Pace of power! Uh, essentially, the color dungeon is an added thing in the DX version of this game that allows you to get either a defense boost or an offense boost. And I almost always get the defense boost. Or not defense, I meant offense. Anyway, here is the entrance to the color dungeon. You have to move these around, which I don't really remember how at the moment, but it doesn't matter because I have to cut the video anyway. So next time... We'll be going through the color dungeon and possibly getting some more items. So, I'll see you then.